What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be testing out Arclight Phoenix once again, uh, this time alongside Stormwing Entity, which is obviously a new card from Corset 2021. We've kind of already played with this a little bit. We've had a uh, very similar kind of is it themed deck, which was, you know, spells matters. We try and do the best we can to get this going. Um, this with Arclight Phoenix, I think is an interesting combo. So I thought I'd try it out today. So uh, the whole goal of the deck Play a bunch of cheap stuff, hopefully make them even cheaper with Goblin Electromancer, uh, get yourself a Stormwing Entity out, and then hopefully in the process of doing that, uh, discard an Arclight Phoenix and then hopefully bring it back uh, with, you know, just playing your spells. So it's a pretty straightforward list. We've seen a lot of, uh, of decks trying to really capitalize on the Arclight Phoenix ever since it was spoiled, and in fact did really really well for quite a while uh and so ever since then we've been trying to get back to that but i just don't think we've quite gotten there maybe this will do it maybe not but i do think it's a fun idea uh and so i thought we'd try it out so in terms of spe cheap spells we have four opt here we've got four crash through both of these draw us cards which is really really nice not only that but the crash through actually gives all of our creatures trample uh now that doesn't seem like a big deal but uh with blue white flyers and things like that going around they're going to be able to block some of these things, and every time we cast a non-creature spell, this not only gets plus one, plus one, but if we get to play a crash through, it also now has trample, which means it's a little bit more difficult to actually save yourself that damage. So very, very key card, I think, uh, not only because it draws a card, but that trample is conditionally going to be very good. Uh, four shock for a little bit of interaction at the one drop slot. Uh, really, really good just to be able to clear the board as much as possible before you really start going off uh, with things like Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility to hopefully get this going. So uh, definitely really happy to see shock in here. Uh, speaking of interaction, we do have Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Uh, this is another really, really good way to not only destroy a creature, but exile it as well. Ideally, we're going to have a lot of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. This deals with creatures and planeswalkers, uh, and if they would die, they get exiled. So very, very efficient way to do that at instant speed, nonetheless. Very happy. Uh, See the Truth is a new card from uh, M21. A bit interesting for this deck because it doesn't actually discard cards, but... Uh, if you, uh, essentially, it's sort of like anticipate, but you look at the top three cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, and the rest on the bottom. Uh, so it's it's a two mana look at three cards uh, and pick one, which is really nice. Uh, hopefully, again, cheapened up with Goblin Electromancer. But uh, if this was cast from anywhere other than your hand, you put all of those cards into your hand instead. So it could be a two mana draw three potentially a one mana draw three. Uh, and the way that we would do that is with Finale of Promise. So this gives us a way to pull back cards from our graveyard and replay them. Uh, and especially if you get up to a lot of mana, you could actually copy those spells. So you could do some real damage with this. Uh, this card in the other Is It deck that we tested out with Stormwing Entity was like stupid good. Uh, it was very much a finisher. And so I'm, I'm happy to see that here as well. Uh, now, I mentioned Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility. These are the easiest ways to get Arclight Phoenix into the graveyard. So you discard cards to draw cards. Uh, ideally, we'd be discarding Arclight Phoenixes to draw more cards. That helps us play the Arclight Phoenix just by playing more spells. So very, very happy to see that. Uh, Goblin Electromancer, again, helping to cheap up. Uh, or helps to cheapen up, that's what I meant to say, uh, all of these two drop instants or sorceries, as well as Finale of Promise, hopefully costing a little bit less there as well. Uh, Arclight Phoenix, obviously one of the big namesake cards. Um, the, the idea here is get it into the graveyard, play a couple of cheap things, three of them, in fact, uh, and then just be able to pull this back for free. Uh, it's really, really good. Haste 3-2 Flyer. Uh, Stormwing Entity, ideally, if you're playing instants and sorceries, are gonna this is that's gonna cheapen this up to a two mana spell. Uh, it's a three three flying with prowess, and when it enters the battlefield, you get to scry two. So super good value if you can get both of these to work. Um, as far as lands go, I believe we're at twenty two. Yes. Uh, so we've got four steam vents, four temple of epiphany, and then eight and six on that mountain versus island split. And that's it. That's the deck. It's pretty straightforward. I do really like the idea behind this deck. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can get this to work. I, I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I, this is one of those lists. Arclight Phoenix is one of those cards. I should say that a lot of people have been trying to make work, um, for some time, uh, after it kind of lost its grandeur we'll say, grander, um, but it just hasn't happened yet, uh, and so I'm hoping that we can 
we can make something really work here. I'm, I'm excited to see. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is interesting. Um, what's nice about this deck is even though we are kind of stuck on mana here, uh, Thrill of Possibility draws us cards, and if we just get one blue mana, we're actually fine. So I'm going to try it. Um, ideally, we can get an Arclight Phoenix pretty quickly. Shock is going to be helpful here. Um, oh, and that helps tremendously. So we're going to pass here. Chances are we're just going to shock this. Um, looks like a 1-1 one -one counters kind of deck, so let's just go ahead and get this down. Get that out of there. This is a problem. Uh, we do have to deal with that, but uh, we'll we'll see what we end up doing here. Um, let's do this, and let's see the truth, I think. Um, it's quite good. Uh, do, do, do. What do we want to take? <coughs> I guess my question is, do we want to be dealing with their stuff first, or no? Um, I feel like the shock is going to be more helpful. That might be an incorrect pick. The Stormwing Entity is very good, so there might that might be a, an issue, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. <coughs> they can put a counter here, and that's fine. Uh, see the Truth is interesting, I just realized. They don't actually get to see what card we pick, uh, which is very, very good. Cathartic Reunion. Okay. Um, I'm going ahead and main phase shocking this. Ooh, voice crack. Um, now, what do we do? Um, as much as I don't like it, I think we have to pass here. Um, we can opt on their turn, see what we get. Uh, there is a possibility that we could have, you know, just Cathartic Reunion, ditching, op, and crash through. Um, but we'll see. Let's do this. Uh, sure, let's keep it. Uh, I think we're going to fall behind here. I think they've just got a more powerful start, uh, unfortunately. But we'll do the best we can. So um, let's crash through. It's going to cheapen this up. Uh, five. Actually, that's pretty helpful. Do we just exile right now? Um... I'm going to say yes. We can't fight through this anyway, so I kind of think that's the best play for us. Um, I don't know. This is interesting. This is really interesting. Uh, they are down to two cards in hand. That's a good one, though. Two Wildwood Preservers. Wildborn, excuse me. Preservers. That's that's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> um, Shock and Finale are our two cards here. Um... Hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to discard this. Got to land. It's not super helpful, to be honest. <laughs> um, so we can shock this, but then we just die, right? Uh, alternatively, we can play this block. Does this have trample? No. So theoretically, this gets us a turn. Um, blah. Don't feel good about this. We need more blitzes. Um, this The blitz is really, really good here. Um, now, we can finale of promise next turn, so there is a chance that we are okay, but it's going to be rough. Um, thankfully, we only need four mana to really go him. Oh, well, they just win, right? Yeah. All right. That's okay. They just get to fight off, and then we lose, so that's fine. Let's jump into game two and see what we can do. Um Heck yeah, that was awesome. Uh, let's see. I uh, I really do like the Phoenix stuff, and I, I'm hoping that we can get this to work because I really want it to, but it is a tough thing to make happen in the current meta uh, because it's not quite as fast as a lot of other decks right now, and I think we're seeing that. I mean, we just saw it pretty 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 well demonstrated, we'll say, uh, against this uh, these counter decks. It's very, very interesting. Um, this is a great hand, though, I will say. We've got a, a shock here. We'll get, to be, we'll get to draw a card and then be able to Cathartic Reunion away a uh, Arclight Phoenix, hopefully. Whoops. Let's just go ahead and start with a Mountain. We don't need to take unnecessary damage. We can shock, you know, anything that they play, which doesn't mean apparently they're not going to, so that's fine. Um... Let's do this here. I'm actually going to ditch the See the Truth. 
I think the shock is pretty crucial. Now double shock, that's pretty good. Um, we unfortunately drew a lot of land. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we wouldn't, but that's okay. Uh, and maybe the land was a better ditch, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just throw this down. I will keep that because it is a cheap spell. Um, I think it's worth it. We'll see what they come up with here. Okay. It's pretty good. Mm, no. Resolve it. That's fine. Um, what we can do next turn is shock, shock, um, crash through, and then just kill it, <laughs> um, which I think is going to be better. Let's crash through first, see what we draw. Okay. Well, that's a card. Uh, let's shock. We don't even actually have to shock it. We can shock here. Play a Steam Vents tapped. This comes into play and then we get to trade off, or excuse me, uh, get rid of Gideon Blackblade. So I think that was the best option there. Um, that was a nice turn. That was a super nice turn. We got to deal with a little bit of life on them and then also a Gideon, which is really crucial. Um, unfortunately, we do have a Stranded Phoenix, but we can just play it next turn. I mean, if we have no other options, it is a 3-2 just flying Haster. So it's worth it. Um, Sure. It's a good card. Um, hopefully we can get more. Either a finale would be good. Finale would be great, actually. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to set up for a bit of more of a long game here. Um, that's pretty helpful. Um, the Goblin Electromancer is actually not terrible either. It's not great, but, uh, it does cheapen all of our stuff. So the question is, is it worth it? Um, mm, I'm going to say no. Uh, I'm going to attack in here. Um, trying to be a bit more aggressive with this because I do think that's probably the way to play it, but... Uh, they do have, we, we're going to have to try and end the game relatively quickly just based on, you know, what they've got. Yeah, that's good. Super good, unfortunately. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's get that out of there. Another Phoenix. Um, hmm. I'm going to do this. We'll discard that. Ooh, and Blitz. Blitz is very good. Okay, let's get one of these out of there. Move into attack, so we just get this. That was a great turn. That felt amazing. Now, next turn, we've got the finale of Promise to really just put a damper on the game here. Um, we can hit instance... And then just sorcery or sorcery. See the truth, actually, with finale is definitely the way to go. See the truth is such a cool card with finale, I promise. I'm, I never really thought about that, but that is such a cool thing to do. Um, really into that. That's good, but again, we can blitz it, so don't particularly care. Uh, okay. I was really hoping to get the see the truth thing going, but hey, we got there. That's cool. I like it. Let's jump into our last game really enjoying the deck i think that um it's slow i think you really have to have a good good starting hand to to make this work and so i don't think this is going to be as consistent as we've seen the arclight phoenix's deck uh the arclight phoenix deck be in the past but uh i do really like it still i think it's fun um and we do get to see it kind of do its thing um every once in a while which is good uh do we keep this this is a weird hand <laughs> This is a very weird hand. <clears throat> um, hmm. Has no real interaction. I'm going to mulligan. I think that's honestly just not a great hand. This is potentially worse, but we're going to keep it. Nah, uh, we've got the two lands. We just don't have any card draw, which is bad. Blech. Maybe it was right to keep the first one. At least it had some card draw in it. Um, 
We'll keep, uh, and we'll put, let's put Finale on the bottom. As much as I love Finale, we're just not going to play it in the early turns of the game. We have to really get to like three or four lands, and we've only got two. Uh, we really need a blue source here. If we can get a blue source, we can start opting and do do some major stuff, but unfortunately we're not getting there. Um, ooh, okay, that's helpful. Uh, I'm just going to play out a Goblin Electromancer. Um, I do understand we need ops uh, to really do our thing, but we'll, we'll take some time to set up here. This is a Yorian deck, so this is going to be probably like a smokestack style thing. Um... And so, we'll see what they do. Excuse me, I had a dog hair in my face. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> it doesn't really hurt all that bad. Um, it's not good, don't get me wrong, but it's not terrible either. Uh, hmm. No, I'm going to put that on the bottom. That's good. We can get a Stormwing Entity down and scry a little bit here. Uh, I think we want both of these on the bottom now. We've got four lands, so we're actually fine on that account. Um, again, we can opt next turn and then play another entity if we would like. Um, and then we've got, we're, we're pegging ourselves up with the blitz here. So like, hopefully we can start blitzing a little bit on anything that they play. If they do play much, I, I honestly am not sure that they will. Um, interesting. Okay. That's very good against Blitz, not gonna lie. Makes it very tricky. They didn't really get anything all that good though, to be honest. Uh, that sucks though against Arclight Phoenix, so we are gonna have to deal with that pretty heavily here. Uh, let's opt. I'm gonna put that on the bottom actually. Uh, I do want that, but I want that more so when we've got things to hit. Uh, and we, we don't have an Arclight Phoenix in our hand. Um, which is pretty important. That's fine. So the plan here is just play another Stormwing Entity and scry a couple times. Again, not really getting what we'd like. Um, and Cathartic Reunion, like I said, very good card, but not really what we're looking for unless we've got the Arclight Phoenix in hand. Um, and so I'm not really super interested in doing that. Uh... We do have two entities out here, so like they might be able to Oath of Kyle one of them, but they probably can't hit both. If they've got a Sweeper, that's good. Um, I don't know how likely it is that they've got the Sweeper. Probably, right? Karn. Well, that's cool. Yeah, dude. You got it. That's really cool. What do they get to pull? I'm assuming a Sweeper. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take the turn here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do this. And... I'm just gonna shock it again. Now we're hitting for 10. That's pretty good. Uh, I am kind of over committing a little bit here, and maybe that's incorrect. We really just need to hit more stuff. Because uh, if they do have a sweeper, obviously that's bad. But we are trying to get out from under the the, uh, the Pharaoh's statue here. Um, if that's going to be their play, I'd like to be able to, to get my stuff down beforehand. Uh, so I think that that's not necessarily incorrect. Uh, we'll see, though. We shall see. Um... Just want to mention, guys, the other episode of the JDC did go up yesterday. If you didn't watch it already, please do. Uh, Alex and I had a phenomenal time uh, hanging out, playing some games. It's always a good time with Alex. Uh, so feel free to check that out. I uh, certainly hope you will. Let's get this. Um, temple, I guess. <laughs> uh, the statue is annoying, I will say crash through. We'll keep that because any card now is pretty much lethal. <laughs> um, but if they've got a sweeper here, we're we're done. That's going to lock us out pretty heavily. But I think they would have played it last turn. I think it would have been risky to just jump, jump to this because if we did have two one mana spells, which is not unlikely in our deck, 
Um, we could have easily gotten there. But, well, I guess we couldn't have quite gotten there. We didn't have the land, because it does boost our cost by two, which is a lot. That is so backbreaking for a deck like this. Okay. It's an interesting deck. Uh, haven't seen much of Karn the Great Creator recently. I like it. Really like it, but just haven't seen it. Oh, two to the top. That's scary. It's very scary. Oh, okay. Well, we got there. Um, so surprisingly, we actually got two wins. Uh, I I am a little surprised by that. I think I think this deck's just a bit slow, and so like my worry with this is that um, as good as it seems on the onset, I think that it just doesn't have the legs. Excuse me. I I I don't know if it has the legs. I should say um, for really really getting in there on the best of one ladder. Um, it does have a lot of the right tools, though. I mean, we're looking at it. It's got a lot of removal. It's got a lot of ways to deal with Planeswalkers, which is good. And it's threatening um, on the on a very strong, very over-the-top level when you get to that point. So I do really like this deck. I'm excited to jump into video two. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you did. If you've got a deck suggestion for us, whether that's for the JDC or for just these regular gameplay videos, please do... Uh, leave those in our Discord channel. That is down below. Anybody at all is welcome to join that. We've got a really great community there. Uh, some awesome, awesome people and some really good deck builders. Oh my goodness, we've got some good deck builders. Uh, and again, you can see that on the JDC. Uh, so I do suggest you check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon with another gameplay video. Actually, part two of this gameplay. <laughs> see you guys.